the ground. This is Derrick Henry. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Brings up second and ten. From the gun, here's Tannehill. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Brings up third down and ten. Throwing on third down, Tannehill. And right side, Henry's got it. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Call it a pickup of three, and also now likely a punt on their opening drive. On fourth down, here's Brett Kern to punt the football away. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. So here now are the Panthers for their first drive of the game. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. What I enjoyed this week is that you asked to talk to his offensive center before the game and find out a little bit more about him and what the relationship is. And that was a pretty positive story, wasn't it? Yeah, and really what I took away from that is just how it has permeated throughout the entire offensive line, the relationship they've had. It's really a group that's in sync. They care about him. That's the thing. They really care. And when you care that much, you're going to play that much harder for him and give him a better chance to lead the team that wins. And in the 42-yard line here and brought down there. In a word, I would say productive, finding the end zone three different times. Is it possible that you're really underselling it? Three touchdowns, just going to call him productive? Right. What, what do you want? This guy had a nose for the end he zone. He was good. Had a snoop full, didn't he? How about that? Big time game. Now a run with McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Well, the tackle was by the Boston College product, Harold Landry. On the play. Second and 10 at the 42-yard line. And some room to maneuver. 30, 10, touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. A big play there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Panthers are going to take a first quarter lead. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And this will be good to give the Panthers a 7 to nothing lead. A drive there of just four plays. And the finishing touch was that nice long run into the end zone. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. At their own 23-yard line. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And it's right about this time of the year that you start to say this is when the cream rises to the top. Week 15, three weeks left to go, but still plenty to be determined. It certainly is because we all know everyone is aiming for that number one seed. But failing that because only two teams in the NFL get a bye, one from each conference, that question becomes who's hot? Who's peaking at the right time as you start the playoffs? To throw again on second down. Tannehill, open man here, Sims complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. 
Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. He was covered by Dante Jackson. Tannehill going to turn and give this to Henry. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third and 13. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. Third and long, it's Tannehill, and it's intercepted. It's Shaq Thompson here with a pick. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Number 35, the ball carry. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he is going to get this close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the Titans' 30. Brought down at the 30-yard line. A five-yard pickup on the They'll go to the air here on third and two. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. The quarterback is sacked. A loss of four yards. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Fourth down, and here's Graham Gano now in the field goal unit for the Panthers. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And the lead moves to 10 zip. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right, baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. Here comes Ryan Tannehill now leading his offense back out there. He'll look to shake off the interception on the opening drive. He should at least be comforted that it resulted in three, not six. And if I were him, I would be the guy all the way out on the field greeting my defense now, saying, thanks a lot. He held him to a field goal after I turned it over. That's a big defensive stand for them. He needs to go out now and make up for what he did on the first drive. A gain of two brings up second and eight. And Tannehill with a play fake to Henry. He'll throw instead. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Brandon, we saw these defenders fly into the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. From the gun on third down, Tannehill. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Three yards, all they could muster there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field 
can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They're looking sharp out early to a 10-zip lead and looking for more as they've got it first and 10. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. He gets it left side to Johnson. But this will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. They'll look to throw for it on third and one. They'll roll him out right. The quarterback on the Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. And a good pickup there. He gets about six up to midfield. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. A six yard pickup brings up second. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Thomas. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. A gain of five. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete the pass. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Four yards the pickup, first down. The tackle made by Christian Bolton. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A good pick up there of 20 yards. One of the feature points of the in route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Open man is Samuel, complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Second and six at the nine. He's gonna flip one out here to his running back. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great effort there with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And the Panthers add on to their lead. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Extra point try, good by Godot. And yeah, that makes our score 17-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Take over first and 10. We get a look at the Panthers' defense now. And let's take a peek at some of the defensive effort here that's helped them get this first half lead. Yeah, I remember in school, we used to have a term for it, break on it. When you see the ball in the air, when you see a receiver make the cut, and you anticipate it, break on the football, get there, make a play. And we've seen a lot of that so far in this game. Coverage has been excellent. Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? 
The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, hey, listen, there's got, there's got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. No, oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. That's good. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And we tend to give those running backs that are slashers a lot of credit, but how about guys who are maulers? Because that's what you want in short yardage situations. And we just saw that occur right there, didn't we? Vertical downhill running. First down throw, Tannehill. Smith catches left side. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That catch good for only a couple. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and Throwing again on second down, Tannehill. The throw taken in by Sims. The reception good for seven. It's third down. That's a gain of seven. Makes it third and two. Back to throw, Tannehill. The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They're not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here's Brett Kern now, as he's on to punt for Tennessee. And he's getting a workout here in this first quarter as he gets it away. Seventeen nothing, our score after one. Panthers seventeen, Titans nothing. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Well, I think after that run, the defense is getting back in the huddle and looking at each other and maybe starting to question their confidence a bit. They gave up a significant run, six yards, and now you're saying to yourself, how do we stop them, and do I have enough confidence to make a play? And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards to pick up there. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. The pass. A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because... He is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. Right back to him on first down. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Now a timeout being called as there's an injured Titan down on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's McCaffrey. 
And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Got an extra defensive back out there for the Titans now here for third down. And it's out of the gun. They'll look to throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, maybe that can give him a little bit of a pick-me-up, a little bit of a jolt. One of the few things has gone right defensively. Because other than that, it's really been a first half to forget. So out comes a field goal team now for the second time here today. They'll put it down right at the 40, so call this a 50-yard attempt. That's on target, but it's no good. He had it on line, but it came up just shy of the crossbar, and this score will stay right where it is. Nothing. Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you don't down. Want to. No, but hold on, let me finish. Okay, my bad. And you're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. They'll try to run for the first with Henry. And he's got the first down yardage before being taken down at midfield. Only three there on the pickup, but that's enough to move the chains. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. right side and they'll get him down as he's inside the 40 an 11 yard pickup for the titans and a first down at the 39 yard line now Tannehill, and that going to be incomplete too tough to hold on to that one it's second down aj brown incomplete brings up second and 10 on second and 10 Tannehill throw left side complete that's smith and he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That goes for a gain of 31. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Tannehill throwing again. His pass caught at the four. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Trying to punch it in with Henry. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally, because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. And he will take this one in for a Titans touchdown. Derrick Henry, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Titans are able to close the gap just a bit. And nothing special there. They showed they were going to run the football. They ran it. They got it in. Like old-time football, right? Hey, this is exactly what we're going to do. Straight ahead power, and they got it done. kick the 
extra point. And it's 17-7. The kick is good. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. And Derrick Henry able to finish it off with a touchdown run. So the lead back down to 10 as things get a little more interesting and the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this out to the 25. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. I'm sure he wanted to have a huge game, wants to have a huge game as the quarterback, but really on the ground, they've been very, very hard to stop. Maybe you just keep going to that well. I think so, and isn't it funny how the definition of balance changes for us from game to game? Sometimes it's 50-50, run it, throw it. Sometimes it's just being a balanced running team in terms of who's carrying yeah, the football. More than one guy. Right, multiple guys out there, and now your guy back there has to throw it. Doesn't have to worry about it quite as much. And they've got the lead here in the second quarter. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Johnson. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme, and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front, defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete the pass. Give him seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. On second down, here's the option. And some space here. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. McCaffrey following the penalty. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. He has elite instincts from his linebacker spot. He's able to diagnose the run and flies in like a missile to stop that one behind the line of scrimmage. The Panthers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This will be third and 15. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the end route, complete. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On fourth down, the Panthers send out Michael Pilardi to kick it away. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it'll be Titan football. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. And they'll be looking to build off of a nice drive last time, a drive that really relied on the quarterback. Making good decisions, distributing the ball well, distributing it accurately, keeping it away from danger. A really nicely run drive. But now the defense, what adjustments do they need to make in the passing game? Pass rush, pass rush, pass rush. Those are the guys up front, or maybe you bring additional guys, but you've got to disrupt the timing of them throwing the football. Uh, we'll see if they can disrupt it here. up 
at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. To throw is Tannehill. And he'll get this underneath to Henry. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Tannehill's pass complete to Derrick Henry. It's a game Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. 44 yard line. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 47. First and 10 at the 47 yard line. Derrick Henry. He'll get about four here down to the 43 yard line. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. A gain of four. It's now second and six. Tannehill getting it out quickly to Brown. That's another Tennessee Titan. Was that a design pass or what was that? It was built into the play call. He had the opportunity to either hand it inside, keep it himself to run it, or do what he just did. Throw that pass inside, hitting a receiver on the run. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. Now whistles here, and it looks like we've got a Panther that's having some difficulty down there getting up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And we were down on the field watching Henry warm up before the game. He's a big man. No wonder he breaks those tackles. And you remember what I told you when we were watching? It's not all pads. I mean, yeah. you get him out of pads and just see him in a regular suit or an outfit, he is a huge human being and a lot faster than what people know. When he gets rolling, he's a lot to bring down. A solid run by Derrick Henry, and here's another first and ten. Out of the gun, Tannehill. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Smith. Incomplete. Marcus Williams on the coverage. Back to the air, Tannehill on second down. Open man here, Sims complete. Tannehill's pass. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Play number nine set to come here on the drive on third and two. From the gun, here's Tannehill. Got a man, it's complete, Williams. And he will have a Titans first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing again is Tannehill. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Have to give some credit to the defender on that when he read all of his keys perfectly and got a great break on the ball and able to force that incompletion. Second and 10, Tannehill once more. That is caught at the seven yard line. Tannehill, they get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. They set up the screen for Henry. But back to the eight yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this one is right through. And they're back within a touchdown. It's 17 to 10. Titans 10. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point or in this case, a field goal. 
And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. At their own 26-yard line. Now onto the field, here come the Panthers. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after make Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. If you rank one from the bottom, in statistics, it's usually not good in this league. And this team won from the bottom in sacks, but somehow they've got three in this game. What's going on? I know they're 31 and 32. They better be careful, or they're going to be top 30 in the league. <laughs> sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. The Titans going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. One more time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he's got some space here. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. They'll look to throw now on first down. Johnson with a completion over the middle. The pass. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. We'll get started over at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome in New Orleans, where it was the visiting Cardinals who get the road victory. 21-15, the final score. From there, we fly north to Cleveland to check on the Browns at home at First Energy Stadium. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting L.A. Rams. Nick Chubb, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Finally, let's get to Philadelphia. Check on the Eagles at home at Lincoln Financial Field. And it was the visiting Atlanta Falcons who come in and get the victory. 38-17, the final score. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. First and 10 at their own 26-yard line. Out come the Panthers. They'll have it first on offense in the third quarter. They have the lead now. They'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a dump off here complete. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That one a first down pickup of eight. On the ground, McCaffrey. And he'll take this up over the 40 to about the 41. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Brings up second and seven. They'll let the QB keep it here off the option. And some room to run now. 
And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. yards there a first down well you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace this is ball control football sustained runs taking their time and making it work so operating from tennessee territory now here's first and 10 at the 38 now they'll throw here out of the gun. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Jayon Brown able to take him down. It's a loss of three. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out, you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. Second and 13. Gets past one man. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Complete so third down, they need to get to the 28 for a first. He'll look to throw. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have to start thinking about your rush lanes. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. down he'll drop to throw it and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down a loss of two yards and no matter what the situation the o-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there right man that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play when you decide to throw the football you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet you talk about guys if they weren't playing football they'd be starring in the nba at power forward it's a really difficult task A small bit of adversity here on what's been a strong drive as they come up second and 12. Now whistles. Flag down, and I believe one of the Panthers got moving early. So that'll back him up five. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Looking to throw. And now he'll tuck it and run. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. Out of the huddle now for play number nine on this drive. This is third down and eight. Partner was a definite passing down, but he was able to leak out and pick up some good yardage, even though the coverage was excellent. Maybe it's not exactly how they drew it up, but he's still got a big chunk of yardage on second down. It's a gain of seven, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike. But that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Now Graham Gano to try the Panther field goal. From the right hash, this is from 33. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. First and 10 at their own 29-yard line. 
come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. And they had a long drive last time, but they had to settle for a field goal, and I'm sure that's how it felt to them, settling. They probably should have gotten in the end zone. Yeah, not out now, joy, right? Because that's what you get when you put the ball in the end zone. But there are benefits to that type of a long drive. Your defense gets a chance to take a break, adjust a little bit, maybe get themselves ready to get back out on the field and play a little bit better. So they'll take the benefit, even though they wanted the six points. Maybe wore down the other defense. We'll see. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Brings up Now it's Tannehill. Over the middle to Smith. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 43. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. Here's Tannehill. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. This duo locked in. 14 yards there and a first down. Tannehill, and it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. And down inside the 15 he goes. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A toss left, Henry. And he goes backwards here, losing yardage back to the 16. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. They'll run it again with Henry. And for a second straight play, just nowhere to go thanks to this Carolina defense. Two yards the loss there, now third and 14. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Tannehill by Carolina, and on we go to fourth down. The passing windows are just not there, and that's just another example of how great this defense has been all game long. And that's exactly what a top 10 defense can do. They can really change the game tempo and frustrate you as you try to execute offensively. Titans, 13. They put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points. It will give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all to me, that's a good drive. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And a methodical drive last time, but they couldn't get that knockout blow. They had to settle for three. But you gotta like what they've been doing along the way, right? It's almost like the body blows, the setup punch. As you said, they didn't get the knockout blow here, but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession. And the defense on the other side. Maybe a little gas. Yeah, right? a little tired. And if nothing else, they just feel relieved getting off field only giving up three. They don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense. A gain of two brings up second and eight. Here's second and eight. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. 
Adoree Jackson on the tackle. A two-yard gain on the play. And it's third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. The quarterback sack. The sack by Harold Landry, the former Boston College Eagle. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here's Michael Pilardi now, as he's on to punt for Carolina. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And here comes Tennessee as they get set to take the field. And last time, able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you, you described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Marcus Williams on the coverage. Now Tannehill. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. Brings up third and five. The last play on the completion got them half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. Right there. Here's Tannehill. Open man is Sims. He's got it. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. One of the selling points at the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. From the 50, it's Tannehill. Smith catches left side. Smith. And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. Love the play call that time. Love the design. You put three tight ends on the field. That screams jumbo set. Running formation to a defense, right? No, they go play action, and defense gets confused for just a split second. And next thing you know, completion for good yardage. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll toss it to Henry. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They keep it with Henry on first down. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You'd think being able to fire out and block, it'd be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Brings up second and one. A shotgun snap for Tannehill. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. It's now third out of the gun. Tannehill. Throw right side complete to Williams. 
Tannehill. And they're going to drop him well shy of the first as he can only make it to the 11. But it's fourth down. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. And his kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. That's the score, Panthers 20, Titans 16. He's got nine points on field goals now. He's made three of them. That gets him a bit closer, but there's no question they need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And for him, it's not his concern, right? He just goes out there when they call on him and goes ahead and puts points up on the board. But the offense has got to get together and figure out what's stalling their drives so they have to keep calling on him. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. He's up over 100 yards, and he'll be looking to get in the end zone again. Has a tremendous nose for it, doesn't he? The ability to pile up yardage and find the end zone, that's the combination you want in your runner. That's a combination any coach wants, and we'll see if he can find that end zone once more. Rashawn Evans out of Alabama had the tackle defensively. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. Second and nine now. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. The pass. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Are you crediting your defense? Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool him, right? Tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. That last completion, certainly not what they were hoping for, is now they'll try to convert on third. They'll look to throw here. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. Ouch, you thought you had the defensive stand. Roughing the passer wipes it out. What does every defense talk about? Three and out, right? Thought they were able to get off the field. Not so. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The tackle made by Harold Landry. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. At the 40. Stepping up. He's going to keep it. And they'll get this just to the 47. One yard gain. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Panthers on third down. They've hit on half of them, five for 10. This will be third and five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And this is caught. He hits more. And he is going to have a Panthers first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? I'm so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Now a play fake here on first down. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the tuck and run. All right, partner, I'm a defender, but I've got to express my admiration there. Moving around, making it happen, and instead of worrying about protecting himself, he goes and gets the first down. I've got to give it to him on that one. Normally, you don't want your guy taking shots, your quarterback, but it's winning time here in the fourth quarter. If he needs to make those plays with the legs, go ahead, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. It's, at this stage of the game, all protections, they're off. Uh, here's a throw right side taken in by...